What's up guys, it's Trevor with Embers Living. Today we're redoing an awesome review. We're gonna be reviewing a couple new gas grills we have. We have the Delta Heat model versus the Twin Eagles. Now both of these grills are actually made by the same exact company, but the Delta Heat lineup is gonna be more of their budget lineup, and then the Twin, Twin Eagles grill is gonna be their premium product. So uh, let's get started. All right, if you guys are in the Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom today. You can check out all these products for yourself. Also, if you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe, follow us on TikTok, thumbs up us, do all the things. Trust, just trust me, helps us out when you do that. Okay, real quick backstory. These are American made grills. And this is really, really common to see with uh, the American made lineups. So Lynx, uh, Lynx and Sedona, uh, you have Fire Magic and AOG. We have Alfresco and Artisan. And now we have Twin Eagles and Delta Heat. What it is, is they essentially offer a super expensive, premium, luxury, American-made product. But to capture more market share, what they usually do is they offer a little brother, uh, American-made, more that's more reasonably priced, that's gonna be de-featured. So today I'm gonna break down the, the differences between the Delta Heat and the Twin Eagles specifically. And I'm going in blind. I haven't really done that much research. So I'm gonna test myself to see what I can find that's different. So you can see the Delta Heat uh, right away. The, the carts are totally different. So uh, the, this has some soft, no, no, no soft closed hinge there. But um, you can do this as a built-in or a cart model. So it's a 30, 32, and I think they have a 42 or 38 or something. So make, check, make sure you check their website because the head sizes are different between the two. Um, pretty clean lines all around. I brought my trusty magnet friend so we could test the quality of the stainless steel. See if we're getting any magnet, magnetized anywhere. Um, that's high quality 304 stainless steel right there uh, in this grill, even though it's a premium model or a budget model, I should say. Uh, I can tell just holding it, it does have spring assisted hood. You can see we have our springs right here. Oh yeah, we get our warming rack and then our rotisserie motor. So this comes out pretty handy. So your rotisserie motor is gonna be on the side here, but it looks like we have two different mounting options. So it looks like we can go here or here. So that's kind of cool we could set up our rotisserie in two different spots. Obviously it comes with our forks and everything. All right, you know I always like to test the vertical space in here. So we got about 10 inches between the cooking grates and the top of the first tier of our hood. Infrared rotisserie burner. So essentially you can order these, all these grills, they make it simple, between the Twin Eagles and the Delta Heat. Really, really easy, three different configurations. You can do just a basic grill, no rotisserie, all standard burners, which I'll talk about the burners in a second. You can do the grill with just rotisserie and standard burners, or load it up like we have it here, one sear burner, two regular burners, and the rotisserie. So you have three different tiers. You have three different tiers on the way you can order this. Uh, pretty standard, solid stainless steel grates. Lifetime warranty on all this stuff, by the way. Then you can see our infrared block is down here. Again, pretty straightforward. And then these guys use ceramic briquettes. So let's check out these ceramic briquette trays. Again, pretty standard, not reversible, which isn't the end of the world but I definitely prefer reversible briquette so we can easily burn off all the gunk so we don't have flare-ups. Then it looks like we have stainless steel two burner and then it does look like we have some, well, that's gonna be our igniter here. Let's check out the ignition. So it's gonna be a, a push button ignition system. So an electronic ignition and that's gonna ignite our burners. And then I didn't talk about the control panel, but we have a flat control panel with blue LED lights and then interior lighting. 
And again, pretty simple, just nice clean look. Um, just looking at this grill, my first impressions are, it's a really rock solid grill. So I can tell it's really well built, very solid American made grill. The, the, I, it's not really a problem, but there's nothing really jumping off the page at me, so to speak. And uh, you see a lot of overlap in the budget American brands. So like an Artisan or a uh, Sedona, which is paused right now by Lynx or an AOG. AOG doesn't use the ceramic briquettes, but you see a lot of carryover between the grills. Like there's nothing in this grill where it's like, wow, that's like a proprietary, really cool invention in this grill, but there's nothing I dislike either, if that makes sense. So I think when you're shopping between like an artist, if you're looking for a budget model on an American made grill, a lot of it's gonna come down to pricing, which are also very similar priced. Features a little bit, but a lot of them have the same features and uh, aesthetics. So, you know, you gotta like the control panel, you gotta like the nice clean lines, really just sort of an understated design and uh, absolutely a well-built grill. I can just tell by, by looking at it, there's nothing. I'm just trying to think if I can find anything to jump off the page. This, this sort of belly bar here, I, I kind of like this flat belly bar. So, you know, you have, can have some spillage on here and it's not gonna get so much on your patio. All right, should we go over to the Twin Eagles? Let's go. Let's go to the premium model. All right, you guys know me. I'm a sucker for premium grills or luxury grills. Um, they're my favorite category, my absolute, just in the gas grill, I don't think there's anything that gets me more excited uh, in barbecues than luxury gas grills. That's just me personally. That's like my favorite, favorite thing to talk about. So this is a new product for us, which I'm really, really excited. We've been wanting Twin Eagles for a very long time. And this grill uh, would certainly fall into our luxury top five videos. We don't have the top five video. It's not in the current video, but uh, I'm betting when we'll, we remake it, it will find its way in there. Okay, first things first. This is the regular Twin Eagles model. They have the Eagle One, which is like the ultra luxury. That's gonna compete with like a Heston or uh, uh, the American Muscle Grill. That's gonna be like a top dog grill. There's only two other grills I put in the same category. One would be a Heston and one would be the American Muscle Grill. What I wanna do is let me know what you want me to do a versus video on and I'll do it. But I did a review on the Eagle One, we'll include a link below for that as well. First things first is strikingly completely different control panel. Uh, which one do you like better, Chris? The red. Yeah, it's, it's I would say in our showroom, maybe besides the Heston, it has like the most unique front, but it's still, the Heston's very flashy. This is, is unique, but very understated, if that makes sense. What do you think, Chris? Can it be unique and understated at the same time? I think so. Yeah, I, I love the diagonal control panel. You can tell it's a little bit deeper. Um, but we still have a big belly bar here. It almost just looks like an airplane or something, doesn't it? A stainless steel airplane. Anyways, I'm going off on a tangent. I like the controlled knobs. Again, we have the LED knobs. You can see built-in and cart model the same ways, but sizing is different. So this is a 36 inch model. Carts, definitely different. Uh, looks like we get an integrated smoker tray that's gonna come with the grill. Not integrated, but we accessory that's gonna come standard. I'm get betting these are soft clothes. Let's try it. Let me try that with a little more force. Yeah, they are soft clothes. You can do propane, but just totally different panels. Let me try that again. But just totally different carts. So if you're on a cart, definitely pay attention to that because you're getting a much nicer cart functionality wise with the Twin Eagles. Uh, looks like this is our grease tray here. Ooh, this is cool. Check this out. I love this. A spot for our, wow, that's, that's a big spit rod. Uh, our spot for our spit rod for our rotisserie. So I love that we can hide that away. I think that's really important because a lot of times you're not gonna have that in the grill itself. All right, should we get under the hood? All right, let's see how our spring assist. Oh yeah, baby. 
oh, oh, different thermometer too, more of a flush mount thermometer versus a surface mount. Again, just a cleaner overall look. Ho oh, ho baby. All right, check this out. So again, like those other two grills I told you in this category, I mean, nothing is built this robust. Look at, look at these sidewalls compared to these sidewalls, okay? Big, big difference here, big difference. And again, you can see we got two different spots for our spit rod, but here is one of my favorite features when it comes to rotisserie is going to be the fact that our rotisserie motor is hidden. Right, Chris? Do you see it? Yeah, that's the best. So you can set that there and then you got a little rotisserie button here. Voila, there she goes. Okay, that's kind of cool. Now again, speaking of rotisseries, same exact way you can order this. You can order it all plain. You can order it um, all plain burners with a rotisserie or infrared station, regular burners and rotisserie, which is what we have here, which is the loaded up model. So, so far, big, big differences. Oh, well, while I'm at it, we better do, we really don't need to since the budget model wasn't magnetic anywhere, but we better just, no, nowhere. Okay, I also wanted to check, now there, there are different widths, but I wanna see that we have a bigger depth in the grill itself. So we have 20 inches to the front. Here we're about 17 and a half. So we're getting a couple inches more cooking space on our depth. And what were we here? We were a little about 11 or so. Our warming rack tuck, tucks away, which is nice. I love that. I hate when there's no, never anywhere to put that thing. 12 inches, so an inch taller as well. So we got more vertical space in the grill. Now check this out. Hexagon, is that six? One, two, three, yes. Is this a hexagon six, Chris? I think so, yeah. Yeah, you're right. So hexagon cooking grates that are much more heavy duty. Let me just do a side-by-side -side in comparison. So there's a comparison between the two cooking grates in this grill. Now, the hexagon cooking grates, just talking about that for a second. The ones in the Eagle One are just stupid. I mean, stupid awesome. They're, I mean, they're probably like that. I'd have to go back and watch the video, but they would put these to shame. I'll do a versus video on that if you want to. All right, let me set these down without scratching this grill too much. All right, so we got ceramic briquettes again. Uh, tray feels, I mean, it's a bigger tray because it's a bigger grill, but it feels about the same, similar build. So your ceramic briquettes are gonna be very similar. So we got big beefy burners in here. And then this is cool too, we have dividers. So this is sort of zone dividers, which is gonna help each burner to sort of maintain the heat of that specific burner. So that's nice if you wanna offset or you wanna go low and slow over here while your infrared is on, that definitely makes it handy. And then I think I wanna see if we got more depth in this grill. So the difference between our burners and our cooking or our ceramic briquettes, our top of them are about four inches. Oh yeah, huge difference, look at that. So the top of these ones is about two and three eighths. So you got well over an inch more depth. Why is that important? I like a deep firebox because the further those burners are away from the ceramic briquettes, the less chance you're gonna have of hot spots. I think you're gonna have a more even temp throughout the grill itself. So that's a huge uh, win on this because it's gonna give you a bigger performance difference. What is this here? Oh, son of a gun. When the lid is closed, that, those lights are just gonna auto turn off. That's kind of cool. So we got matchlet options here. So you can drop matches down each one of these igniters. Uh, if for some reason you're in a power failure, your burner doesn't work. And yep, just as I suspected, hot surface ignition. So a big benefit to that is they, they tend to last longer, not burn out as much. 
and then you don't get that huge gas explosion of gas buildup all the time. So we have much nicer burners or much nicer, nicer igniters. So this grill is a couple grand more, but it's bigger. And uh, sometimes in, in the budget models and the premium models, there's minor discrepancies, but just looking at these two grills, these are two totally different, totally, two totally different animals. This is, has significant feature upgrades. One is that it's a whole different firebox. So having that deeper firebox below the burners and or below the cooking grates and the deeper firebox above the cooking grates, we have a concealed rotisserie motor, much heavier duty hood system all the way around. I think much more attractive cleaner lines. We have upgraded burners. The, the sear station is also much bigger. I didn't talk about that, but this ceramic sear station really fills up this whole section. Like it's just one big giant brick. Whereas this is a little bit smaller. So you have a little more dead space around it. Uh, and if you're on a cart, you know, tremendous difference in the cart. So it's a 36. I think their sizing is a little bit easier. I think it's 30, 36, 42. And I want to say a 54, like a, a big mama, but uh, huge, huge upgrades. So normally I'm like, eh, sometimes you can get away with the budget model. But if you're looking for a premium grill, the Twin Eagles model is awesome. Um, now, do you need to upgrade to the Eagle One? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe we might have to do a video on that in comparison, but this is a heck of a grill right here. And this specific SKU is their best selling model. They sell a ton of Delta Heat uh, products, especially to multi-unit projects where they're going to an apartment complexes, commercial projects, things like that. Uh, the, this will be more than adequate, you know, in a public setting or something like that. But for a homeowner, um, this certainly will be adequate. But if you're already in that premium space where you're going to be above three grand anyways, Here's what I always tell people when they're like on the fence, they're like, ah, like I want a premium US made product that's gonna last me 20 years. Well, if you're in that space, your grill is gonna last you 20 years. So I, I'm always like, do you, wanna, do you wanna buy a grill that is gonna last you 20 years and in a couple, in like two years, you're gonna be mad you didn't upgrade it? You probably will be, so. Nothing wrong with this grill, but just think about that. Like how long do you plan on keeping this grill? Are you gonna keep it for the lifetime of how long it's gonna last? Cause it's gonna last you forever. So just things to think about when you're doing your shopping at home. Uh, but I, I think just on an attractive scale, this would be one out of two of my favorite looking grills from the outside. Now I know you're saying, Trevor, that's a dumb reason to buy a grill. But uh, for me, that's a big statement. I see grills, thousands of grills all over. This is one of two on as far as attractiveness from a curb appeal standpoint. Wouldn't you say, Chris? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I think it looks fantastic. And then it's very feature rich. There's not a lot of grills, same thing. You know, I can count on less than one hand that are gonna have be built this heavy duty with these, this many positive features. So this is the Twin Eagles versus the Delta Heat. Tell me what you guys wanna see in a comparison. I'll do it. I mean, it's getting winter time, so we don't have a ton of grill videos coming up. So I got some time. I'll do, I'll do some versus and comparison videos if you want. Uh, we'll probably be doing some new luxury top five, some new top fives, maybe closer to spring. But in the meantime, if you just wanna see one-off comparisons, let me know. We'll make some time for it. See you guys next time.